let's move on to another question uh, that will be that is commonly asked in a GCL is how do you check uh, the syntax of a prepared job so you have written a job I mean GCL so how do you check the syntaxes of it so this is commonly asked so basically the simple answer is type one equal to scan so when you use in the within the job card uh, within the keyword parameters so you will be using type one equal to scan immediate question they may ask so what, where do we exactly uh, write this type one equal to sir is, is, is there any specific condition or specific requirements specific significance of using okay you need to write it in the first line second line right after the uh, positional parameters or it's a it's a part of is, is it a positional parameter or is it a keyword parameter so these kind of a uh, questions that will be asked immediately back to back so straight that this is a keyword parameter that is used only at the job card level not is it is not used at the exit level or at the DD level so it is only used at the I mean a job card level and it is it will scan uh, the JCL to check the syntaxes of a JCL and uh, you can give an uh, examples as well so how uh, you can uh, test this but to show you practically so let me connect to the main frame and show you back so that will be uh, that will be stored permanently okay so s now I'm connected to the main frame and you can see this type run equal to scan I'm typing here and just if I submit this JCL and you can see what happens okay for example I have written this JCL and it has several steps in this let me make it as step one zero and uh, for example uh, you have made some mistake so you have written comma here but ideally so uh, we don't want to use that comma or maybe you forgot uh, this or maybe sometimes what happens uh, you may miss comma here as well okay so these are the basic common mistakes that we do so just submit and uh, here what is happening after submitting it's immediately thrown an error but this is not submitted it has just scanned so let's see how it has done so let me go here and uh, see uh, if you look at this message log job not run so that means it is just checking a syntaxes okay so at the same time if you go to JS messages so you can see the type run scan and as well if you go to the sys messages expected continuation and it will tell you so this has to be done at the second line right so expected uh, continuation in this so that means when you see this so when you go here so now this is a second line so here don't get confused with the line here so don't don't uh, look at this second line so when it says second line second line here statement number two so when I see it shows the statement number right so you need to go to this and this is statement number one which is a job card and the statement number two is the exit statement and three is the DD statements within the DD statements you have this one okay so that's where you need to check sometimes what happens quickly okay um, so okay so this is at the second line okay go away go back and check here okay I don't have any comma so why this is showing so that's not I mean initially right so initially so this sort of confusion will be there just I'm keeping in that in that mind so just I'm trying to tell it okay so don't worry about that so two so then uh, you go back here and you'll see that so that's how again we go back here and we check this okay what happened now now again I'm submitting back again throws an error so what's this again you come back and now look at this statement number seven so unidentified operation field so now again you come back here statement number seven oh my god so again I missed one comma here so again you come back here place a comma here and then submit back so now it this time this ran good so let me check and see what happened so JCL no sys messages that means syntax was good and uh, assign these jobs and everything went filed so if there is an error so you will be seeing a sys messages and this is another important point that you need to answer when an interviewer is asking this is a smart way of answering you know uh, why because so whenever you are answering any question so it should be unique it should be different from others so some sometimes they say like what is how do you check your how do you scan your JSON? Sim no not to simply say like type run equal to scan just give a proper explanation for this 
right so whenever you're writing a type 1 equal type 1 equal to scan is specified in the keyword param is it's a keyword parameter which is used at the job card level which is used to scan the entire details before actually I submit a job okay if there are any syntax errors so that syntax errors will be routed to the JE sys messages so I'm based on the messages that I has been displayed in the sys messages I'll go back to correct it and rescan it and and recheck it so if I don't see any sys messages in this pool that means a submitted job queue so that's mean my JCL is perfect and ready to submit my JCL so that's how you can respond so that's the way of experienced uh, uh, resource answering the questions that's been asked in an interview okay I hope uh, you got a clear understanding on why type 1 equal to scan is used and how do you when an interviewer uh, asking how do you check the syntaxes or how do you scan the JCL so type 1 equal to scan is easy. Used.